2023 is over, what can we expect from you in 2024? Well, first of all, I'm so glad 2023 is over. It was a very difficult year. After the difficulties of COVID, we also had the actor's strike and the direct the writer's strike before that. I mean, it's been very difficult for our business. However, it is over, as you said. Hallelujah. Uh, well, you know, believe it or not, we got to do some work during COVID that's out now. So I have a movie called Identity Crisis, which is on all platforms. And uh, my husband and I did a movie during COVID called F Hashtag FBF, and I play his girlfriend. And you can see that on Peacock. And um, I'm voicing Dora, uh, the abuela on Dora the Explorer, the new one for Paramount Plus, which is like a preschool show. It's beautifully written. It's so wholesome and smart and inspiring. It's, I'm like, if I had little ones, my girls are teenagers now, but if I had little ones, I would plug them into it. It's so beautifully done and I'm very honored to be part of it. And. Um, and I'm finally, we're getting to be out there to audition and feel offers and work. It's really great. The strike is over. It's over. So what did you do during the strike? We picketed. We tried to stay positive. We tried to learn what was going on in the negotiations. Uh, I got to be part of Latinas Acting Up, which was a wonderful group that was put together by Diana Maria Riva, a wonderful actress, and Lisa Vidal, another wonderful actress and friends of mine. And, and they really just got us together and kept us positive and kept us, you know, picketing and respectfully standing up for what we think is, you know, what we deserve. And, you know, it's funny because we thought we were like struggling, like alone, my husband and I, you know, we're both actors, David Barrera. And I'm like, babe, but, but we work, you know, and we're working actors. He was just in the Dahmer series. He played the chief of police in the last three episodes, which is amazing number one show and I not we work steadily but it's like what's going on that it's so hard to like make the kind of living we made 10 years ago and we realized that everybody was hurting every working actor was feeling it with the diminishing residuals because of streaming uh, platforms not being the same as network TV and uh, when we were striking we were like oh my gosh we're not alone here uh, and so the change had to be made we had to strike that long and you know AI is inevitable, but maybe maybe we'll get a better deal these next three years. You know, I mean numbers and solidarity and unity. Um, Latinas acting up was so cool. Like I saw it on Instagram. So you guys really did make make some noise. Um, so you've been in the industry for a while. What makes you keep on going? My love for the work, my genuine love for performing. For it's just like. It's something that you have to have an, an insane passion for, you know? And uh, my faith in God, knowing that there are things that are for me and there are things that are not for me. And uh, I just give it my all and what I book is mine and I give that my all and, and knowing that it's a gift, you know? My number one blessing in my life is my, my family, my faith in God, knowing what is true, what is right, what is good, you know? You kind of get hopefully more and more sure of that as you get older, but not everybody does. So I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm not interested in a lot of things that might be hurtful or painful. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad for that because I've made mistakes. So I'm grateful for my spiritual growth. And then I'm grateful for my children, that I was even able to have children and have a family. For the best man in the world that I met, that is my husband, David Barrera, who's an amazing actor. But more importantly, he's an amazing person. But everything about him, I was like attracted to. We met doing a show, a theater piece. It was called The Seductions of Johnny Diego, and I was one of his seductions. And um, he's a wonderful man. So it's like, you know, I, I think I'm getting, I'm talking a lot because I, I just found out this morning that uh, a guy that I went to college with passed away. My, and uh, and I just, you know, whenever that happens, you kind of like, life is a freaking blip and what's important, you know what I mean? Like, so it kind of puts, you, puts things in perspective. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm happy to celebrate all of our Latino brothers and sisters, you know, and that we're, we're making change, not, not enough, 
but we're fighting for it, you know, being part of the American fabric and every race, color, and background, and, you know, recent immigrants and American Latinos that have been here for two, three generations, you know, we're all different, and we're finally getting to, like, put that out there, and instead of being put in that box that we... That we're trying so hard to get out of. Yeah. Yeah, and I like being positive, you know, being excellent in what we do and respectfully standing up for everything that we are. Well, thank you so much. I like was getting all teary-eyed and I was like, oh my gosh, like you are literally, I'm so glad I got to interview you today because sometimes you just come to these events and you talk, but then you don't really actually connect, you know? So thank you so much for sharing your story and sharing your movies and I hope the best for you, all the best. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Life is too short not to connect. Yeah, exactly.